<laughs> hey! I didn't know you took a picture of that! Check this one out. Nice duds. Aw, you three make a great team. Those ice cream pops were so good! Let's hope you didn't eat too many of them, Asuna. <laughs> this one turned out really good. Sorry, Seu. I was hoping you would turn out a little clearer. That's just dirty. Oh man, the steam fogged up my lens. That's one of my favorites. It's at Jishu Shrine. Whoa, think you look a little desperate, Ayaka? Yeah, look who's talking. You spent all your time praying in front of that shrine. So what? I can pray if I want. Remember this? <laughs> you look like... Uh, like a... <gasps> Still have a cold? Maybe someone's gossiping about you. That's probably what it is. It's not hard with all the dirt we have on you. Right, and you're a perfect angel. The way you flirt with every boy in your sight should be a criminal act. You even flirt with the ugly ones. <laughs> oh, get real. I only have eyes for Negi, someone without gray hair. It's not like I'm a perv in love with an old man like you and your sick fetish. Excuse me? Professor Takahata is not an old man. He's just mature, unlike you. Please, get your head out of the clouds. If he took you out on a date, he'd be locked up in prison for life. Asuna, huh? Dean Kanoe is calling for you in his office. He's really calling for me? I wonder why. I think Konaka and Setsuna were called in there earlier this morning. <sighs> Did you get in trouble? What? Mm -mm. Everything's fine, I'm sure. See you later. Uh, excuse me, Dean? Yes? Hi, Asuna. Thanks for your help. I was just filling in the Dean on the trip. I told him about how brave and heroic you were. You showed up just in time, Asuna. We were about to go over the juicy part when the girls started kissing. Hey, hold on. Oh, come on now. It wasn't like that at all. All right, enough about them already. If it weren't for my quick thinking, Setsuna probably would have never been saved. So, uh, what kind of bonus we talking about here? You got some nerve, you freeloading gutter rat. I received some very good news from Ishun early this morning. He wanted me to let you know that the fossilized people have returned to normal and are healthy. Oh, that's great news. With the failure of the attack and Konoka's kidnapping, the Hoganji's disruptive behavior should quiet down for a while. I'm sorry you had to get involved in this, Asuna. What? This whole situation was supposed to be handled by magicians only. You could have gotten really hurt. You're lucky. Thank you so much for helping us. Oh, it's okay. Ever since this little guy arrived, I feel like I've been involved with you magicians anyway. Goodbye, Dean. Let's see now. I guess we can wrap it up once Kaede and the other two agree to keep it a secret. I'm sorry. I was placed in charge of protecting all of you, but I failed miserably. Don't worry about it. Well, if that's the case, then I'm just as much to blame as you, Professor. You know she's right, Neggy. You should let her take all the blame for this. Placing blame won't help us. I still... I still wanted to protect you. But I just couldn't do it. Evangeline, uh, this isn't easy for me, but I have a favor to ask. Hmm. Well, I would like you to be my new magic teacher. Huh? Really? Why? I realized something during the Kyoto battle, that when it comes to sorcery, I'm still a novice compared to you. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm your enemy, Negi. If you want to learn something, go talk to Professor Tokohata. No, because when I look back on the battle, the only person that can teach me anything of substance and magic is you. <sighs> Evangeline, I need your help. Teach me to become a better sorcerer. Very well, then. However, you must remember I'm a dark magician. There is a price to pay for what you ask of me. Uh. First, you must kiss my feet. Then you must pledge your eternal loyalty to me as my faithful minion. You must be crazy to think Negi would ever do that! 